With Diwali just a month away, Google has a sweet treat for all Android users around the globe. Hey guys, this is Sundar here from C4E Tech, and today, let's take a look at the top 10 features that Android 8, aka Oreo, brings to our favorite operating system. So, is the world's favorite cookie gonna tickle your taste buds? Let's dive right in and find out. Let's begin with the place which we visit the minute we unlock our devices. Yes, you got it right. It's the notification shade. Now, even though Oreo is light on visual changes, Google did listen to user feedback and tweaked a couple of UI elements here and there. So first off, pull down the notification shade and swipe down once more and you're greeted with a different color for the quick toggles. The whitish gray gives off a minimal vibe and looks quite good in my opinion. Also, it keeps the theme consistent with the Google app and the revamped settings menu. Also, the gear icon for jumping to the settings, the edit and change profile button have all made the jump from the top to the bottom of the quick toggles panel. From there, let's click on that settings button and jump right into the settings menu. This has gone through somewhat of an UI overhaul as Google has tried to make the settings menu a lot less cluttered. Now, while most of you have been using Android for ages and can fly through a settings menu on any Android device with ease, remember that someone who is new to the ecosystem may feel lost among so many options. I especially like how the display options have now been bundled together into one place instead of being scattered across multiple options. Now while we are talking about graphical changes, let me show you guys one of the visual changes that will affect your day-to-day -day life the most. Yeah, you got it right. The emojis have changed. While Ash seems to love these, I kinda don't. I'd rather prefer the old ones. Which one do you guys prefer? Leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ash or hashtag Sundar and let's see who gets the most votes. Also last but not least, on the list of UI changes, we have Google's Pixel Launcher now supporting normalized icons. What does that mean? The wide variety of shapes among Android icons leads to docs and app drawers looking unclean and cluttered. With this new feature, you can now change the shape of the icon to have five different types of unique designs. While limited to the Pixel Launcher at the moment, we hope that Google releases this as a system feature soon since the search for a nice homogeneous home screen has led many people into the world of paid icon packs and custom launchers. With that, we have most of the visual changes wrapped up. Let's look at a few of the usability features that Google has baked into this new version of Android. At the number 5 spot on the list, we go back to where we started. Yes, the notifications. Google has launched something called notification channels. With this, you can control the various types of notifications that social media can send you, and it's a really nice nifty little feature, especially the granular control offered by the Chrome app, where you can toggle the notifications for mobile versions of websites can come in quite handy. Speaking of handy, Android has gotten smarter at text selection. While the name Smart Text Selection might not win any awards for creativity, it sure does help a lot in day-to-day -day tasks. When selecting addresses from the browser or emails, the contextual link for maps pops up, saving a few steps. And a similar thing happens when we choose a phone number as well. While many custom UIs have had that for years, it is nice to see stock Android finally adopting the feature. Now that we've had a look at some of the usability features, let's take a look at one of the best multitasking techniques that Oreo introduces to Android. With the picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can drag any media and have it playing in a little resizable window on your screen while you work on some other app. I found this particularly useful while watching some Dota 2 action on Twitch and checking out the strategies on the browser. Can you guys think of some other innovative ways of using this feature? Send us a screenshot if you have Oreo on your device at any one of our social media handles. You can find them in the description below. Now we are down to the last three features, and these are all under the hood. We've often alerted you guys about the various security threats present in Android. In fact, if you want to check some of them out, I leave a card here, check it out. But yeah, coming back, Google has tightened the screws and the first security measure they now have is installing APKs from unknown sources requires you to verify each new source of download. While this can be irksome, this will help a lot of people from unintentionally installing apps downloaded from shady websites. Google Play Protect also makes an appearance, but that is present for all Android devices running the latest version of Play services and not just exclusive to Oreo. Android in the past has been kind of lackluster about audio quality in general. Most Android flagships now do, however, come with impressive audio solutions built in, and Google has decided to step up the software game as well. With Oreo including several Bluetooth codecs, audiophiles can now enjoy their music with better sound fidelity than ever before. Considering how OEMs are chopping off 3.5mm jacks, 
Bluetooth seems to be the way forward and I for one am excited to try it out with my daily drivers, the Beat Studio Wireless. Finally, we come to the last feature on our list. And while it won't be the one that is immediately noticeable, trust me when I say this, I've saved the best for the last. Android Vitals makes its way to Android Oreo and it does something that, in my honest opinion, should have been done a long time ago. Android is plagued with apps like Facebook and other social media, as well as other poorly made apps that constantly wake the device to check for updates. With Android Vitals, Google clamps down on that, allowing only a certain number of wakes and synchronizing app syncs so that they consume the least amount of battery. If you're familiar with Dose, think of this as Dose for when, you, when you're using the phone throughout the day. Those were my top 10 features from Android Oreo. But of course, let me answer the question that's on all of your minds. When will your device get Oreo? Will it get the Android update at all? Well, if your device isn't a Nexus, then you might have to wait for a fair bit. Follow us on Twitter though, and we'll keep you abreast of all the update news as soon as we get to know. Also do share this video, spread the love of Oreo around, and smash that thumbs up button if you want more top 10 lists to be featured on the channel. And while you're here, hit that red subscribe button and the little bell icon to keep yourself updated on all the latest tech news. Till then, this here is Sundar, munching on some Oreos. Have a great day.